Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll visit with football coach Garrett LaRose, women's soccer captain Emily Roche, and men's soccer captain Griffin Scott. But we start with a quick look back at the weekend in Washington in the Athletics. Women's soccer remained unbeaten with two lopsided wins, 5-0 over Meredith and 5-1 against North Carolina Wesleyan. Men's soccer beat Bridgewater 4-0 and then drew 1-1 with Christopher Newport on the road. Volleyball improved to 12-2 with home victories over Mount Aloysius and William Peace. Field hockey fell 1-0 at Christopher Newport, while women's cross country placed second overall at Haverford's Mainline Invitational. In women's tennis, Taylor Garcia led the Generals by advancing to the quarterfinals of the championship singles bracket at the ITA Southeast Regional Tournament in Fredericksburg. And football opened up ODAC play by rolling past Guilford 52-14. Joining me now is football coach Garrett LaRose. Garrett, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. What led to such a comprehensive performance by the Generals against the Quakers on Saturday? Well, I think it all started with a great week of practice for us. The guys really focused, understanding uh, some of the struggles we had in ODAC play last year uh, and some of the shortcomings towards the back end of the season. So we've been very motivated each week with being 1-0 and and understanding that a good start to the ODAC sets you up for success later in the season. So they took a great three days of prep into the game and then executed at a very high level. Early in the season, we've seen some new wrinkles from the WNL offense, from variations of the option to a more potent passing attack. How much growth have you seen uh, from your offensive unit so far? I think there's been two parts that have been big for that growth on the offensive side is one guy's embracing some new concepts. I don't think they're major departures from who we've been in the past, but they're ways to try to give us some angles and some advantages to the way that defense has been playing us. The second is, is just really being committed to some of our fundamentals. We saw that last year where if we weren't committed to doing it the right way, how we fell just short by a half step or a half yard that this year those guys have been focused and committed to doing that better and then the efficiency in the passing game has really helped us be more successful as well. The Generals defense has been especially good at neutralizing your opponent's ground game. You lead the ODAC in rush defense. What's working well on that side of the football? Well, I think our defense really focused this offseason on how to build on being a very good defense in the ODAC. They've led the ODAC in several statistical categories for the last few years running. And they said, where can we improve as a defense? And I think one of the biggest things we've seen is just the overall effort and intensity running to the football. And certainly when you talk about neutralizing the run game, that's really an effort-based thing for us. Uh, and the guys have done a really great job, both as a staff and defensive side of taking pride in doing that, not just having the accountability side, but having pride in being a aggressive, fast and fast flowing defense this year. You've had the luxury of playing your first three games of 2019 at Wilson Field. Now you'll hit the road for the first time to take on Hampton Sydney this weekend. What are the keys to having success away from home? Well, certainly starting early on the road is always a, an important thing and being settled through some of the momentum. I think the advantage we have going on the road this year is it's somewhere that we're very familiar with. Uh, oftentimes your first road game is in a non-conference game, potentially an unfamiliar place. Uh, this year going to Hampton Sydney is somewhere where our guys are familiar with what the environment is, what the atmosphere is. And I think also going on, in the, on the road in the ODAC helps you when it's your first road game because there is that focus and that energy to it. So I think those will be big advantages, but our guys starting early and then overcoming adversity because inevitably on the road, you're going to have to overcome some adversity to be successful. Garrett, thank you for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. I'm now joined by Emily Roche, senior soccer captain from Ashburn, Virginia. Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you. At 7-0-1, WNL is off to its best start in five years. What's been clicking for the team in the early part of the year? Sure. So we've had a really good foundation, I think, since preseason where we've actually instilled a family-like culture where, you know, we're not only holding everyone accountable, but we're being respectful in the same way, in the same ways you'd be respectful with your parents. But we've got this kind of open dialogue that's similar to a family. Um, and I think it's made people really appreciate, support each other more, um, kind of also just like loving the game and loving being out there with everyone. Um, but I think we've also learned to listen to each other a little bit more. So we're really open to feedback from not only older players, not only coaches, but younger players. Um, so I think we're, we're doing really well with learning, um, learning to take feedback and give feedback as well. So I think that's been awesome. But we've also been finishing a lot. We've been, we've been uh, really creative in the final third. Um, definitely different from last season. You know, we didn't put as way, away as many goals. So it's been really good. But I definitely think um, that family culture we created in preseason has continued through the season. So um, I definitely attribute that to, to a lot of our success. WNL has kept six clean sheets through its first eight matches. What needs to happen to maintain that level of intensity on the defensive side as you jump into conference play? Yeah, so this week we have been working on communicating a lot more and cleaning up those mistakes. Um, we definitely know how the ODAC plays, very much dumping the ball over, um, really aggressive, really scrappy. So 
we're trying to fine tune a couple things so that we can get ready for that. Um, but continue to be really aggressive, having really, really good practices. We go out there every day and we make our practices the exact same as games. Um, so definitely preparing for ODAC play a little bit is going to change uh, how we practice a little bit. But same aggression, um, same mindset. Everyone's been really great about that. So f like I said, we have three practices left so <laughs> until Lynchburg, but it'll be good. Your sister, Sophia, is a rookie on the team. She has scored five goals in the last four matches mm -hmm. and was just named the ODAC Player of the Week. She's one of several first years who are already contributing on the field. What has that class brought to the team early in their careers? Yeah, so I actually remember, it's, it's funny to say, I remember the first time that she scored when we played one year together in high school. Um, and I will remember the moment she scored in the Sewanee game for her first collegiate goal. So it's been awesome to have her in the field. But the freshman class as a whole, I mean, there's nine of them and every single one of them contributes like immensely. We have such a deep roster this year too, just from the freshmen alone and, and the rest of our team as well. But the freshmen really create depth. And I mean, I've loved playing with Brenna in the back. Grace Will Chelsea has been great in, in the midfield. But when they go in the game, they make such a good impact um, that we're, we're definitely going to succeed with that class. And like I said, since it's such a big class, I mean, they're going to add so much to the field and so much to the game. The Generals open up ODAC play against Lynchburg at Watfield on Saturday. How is the team approaching that match? So very much excited, very, very amped up because they are usually first seed, second seed, um, defending NCAA championships from, from past years. But we're focusing on taking every game um, for what it's worth and, and not you know, overthinking just Lynchburg. You know, everyone usually gets amped up because Lynchburg's really good at, at all sports and especially at soccer. But very much taking it as the first first conference game, first ODAC play, um, just making it the best we can. And we really think if we can come out with a win, that will set the rest of conference play for us and, and really put us in, in a good position to especially be like first seed. Emily, thank you for joining us. Good luck as you uh, get into ODAC play this weekend. Yeah, thank you. Here with me in the studio is Griffin Scott, senior soccer care captain from Dallas. Griffin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. WNL enters the week ranked fourth in the country. You've gone six one and one against a very tough out of conference schedule. What's led to the general success early in the year? Yeah, I, I really think it's twofold. Um, the, the first of which is, I mean, the returners did a great job this offseason of really fine tuning some skills and putting in the work that was required. Uh, when we came back here in August, we were ready to kind of kind of really pick up from where we left off and um, really kind of take the next step forward as a team. So. That was, that was a great, great aspect of, uh, of the offseason. And the second of which I'd say is really a tribute to the coaches and the returners in terms of just making sure that we kind of are upholding that hyper competitive environment, making sure every practice, every drill is a battle, you know, and, and that really has kind of paid off in the games, I think. WNL graduated a very accomplished senior <coughs> class, a group that in many ways set new standards for what's expected of the men's soccer program here. As a team captain this year, how are you looking to maintain that level? Yeah, so I think, I mean, given how well th that class had, had done and, and, and the records they set, I think they really laid the foundation for kind of how a nationally competitive program should kind of uphold themselves and should, uh, should act day in and day out. And so as a captain this, this year, I've really been kind of trying to follow that blueprint and also kind of refine things where I feel necessary. Um, Given that we only have three seniors, it's, it's obvious that we all have kind of need to fill big, bigger roles, um, kind of assume more responsibility, and really use our, our, our experience to kind of enact a, a sense of leadership on the team and kind of mentor the younger guys. So we've, uh, we've tried to really kind of hone in on that. Several first-year players have already worked their way into the rotation. How has that group meshed so quickly with the WNL program? Yeah, again, so one of the things I said to the guys early in the season um, was that given how many people graduated last year and how many starters we lost, um, there was going to be a lot of question marks coming into the season and there was going to be a lot of playing time up for grabs. And so that kind of just instilled some sort of hunger in that, that freshman class and they really have, have thrived with the opportunity. Um, they, have, they have a great level of talent and I expect big things from those guys moving forward, not just this year. Um, and, and whether it's a hot take or not, I really do expect some of those guys to, to maybe surpass and really even beat some of those records that that class last year set. The Generals are the defending ODAC champions and the preseason favorite to win the conference this year. How do you cope with that kind of pressure in your ODAC matches? Yeah, so I mean, given, given how well we did and, and how strong we were able to perform against some of the, the highest ranked teams in the nation, I think that now it's clear that every game from here on out will have a target on our back. Um, another th one of the things I've been talking to the guys about is just making sure that we're matching that intensity level every game. Um, knowing that teams are going to come out after us and, and really try to knock us off, it's important that we go back out there. Um, we do our jobs and handle business week in and week out. So that's really kind of the mindset we have going forward. Griffin, thank you for joining us. Best of luck with the rest of the season. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.
It's time for a look at the upcoming weekend. Women's soccer kicks off conference play against defending ODAC champion Lynchburg at Watfield on Saturday. Men's soccer will take to the pitch later in the afternoon to face Transylvania. Men's cross country will compete in Shenandoah's Hornet Harrier. Volleyball heads to Bridgewater for ODAC matches against the Eagles and Ferrum. Football hits the road to take on Hampton Sydney, and field hockey will face Montclair State at Spooky Nook in Pennsylvania. Women's golf travels to Alabama for Huntington's Montgomery Country Club Intercollegiate, and men's golf will take part in Ohio Wesleyan's Gordon Collegiate Classic in Columbus. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.